Cops are tasked with upholding justice, but what happens when they attempt to corrupt suspects? Here are five times when idiot cops tried corrupting suspects. This is Officer Arthur Williams from the Baltimore Police Department. On August 11th, 2018, around 11.45 a.m., Officer Arthur Williams was accompanied by a fellow officer from the Baltimore Police. The officers approached a 26-year-old man in the streets of Maryland, whom one of the officers had known before, named Deshaun McGreer. McGreer was detained without being informed of the reason for the detention. After a short while, he was released. However, things escalated significantly when officers approached him again to provide a citizen contact sheet. For those who are unaware, a citizen contact sheet is a form that city police officers are required to fill out after interactions with residents. The situation intensified after McGreer declined to provide identification. Observe what followed this denial. I'm not touching them. Hey, yo, you see this shit, yo? You see me oh, 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 hey, yo. I got all that, dummy. Yo, we got all that. I got all that. Yo. I got all that. Hey, yo, what the fuck you just doing? What you doing, yo? For those who may not know, Mr. McGreer was well in his rights under the Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment protects citizens against unreasonable searches and seizures by law enforcement officers. However, Officer Williams took the extreme path and physically assaulted Mr. McGreer to get things done. Officer Williams resigned soon after this incident. Another officer involved in the incident has been placed on administrative duty while an investigation is conducted. Mr. McGreer was transported to the hospital for medical treatment. No charges were filed against him. If you think Officer Williams was the only idiot cop who tried corrupting the suspect, wait until you watch this next case. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, I knew it. That's, that's why they were freaking out. That's the weed smell right there, that's too. Why they were freaking yeah. out. Oh, these are like little fives. These are officers from the Baltimore Police Department. On November 29th, 2016, several officers conducted a traffic stop on a car in Baltimore, Maryland, being driven by a 35 year old woman, Shamari Collins. These officers suspected the possession and the use of marijuana and drugs inside Miss Collins' car after they smelled its odor. Watch how the officers searched the vehicle. Ma'am, is this car registered and I mean, released in your name? Is it leased in your name? <laughs> Whose phone is this? Is this yours? Yeah, it should be two phones in there. Okay. No, I know. Let me do the back of this. You do the trunk, Keith? Yeah, thank you. On the spare tire? Yep. Is your license in here? After a short while searching, the camera cuts and then resumes recording. The officer again reaches to search the car. Observe what they find out. Yeah. I'll, I'll just, I just turned on. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Did anybody check this compartment here yet? Well, here you go. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, I knew it. That's why they were freaking out. That's the weed smell right there, That's too. Why they were freaking yeah. out. Oh, these are like little fives. These little small bags, and here's some dirt. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hot just for this recovery and everything. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I've been off because I wasn't obviously hiding, so. Somebody give Sergeant Paul. Yeah. Hey, we're good. Uh, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Have me all nervous. 
want to call that and make sure they know that. Uh, Keep pushing on there. Yeah, reach up, reach up under there deep, man. I'm still, I'm still on, by the way. So. Are you still on? Yep. Okay. That explains him being on his side. That's, that's definitely the bag. Because when he opened it, I saw green. And I was like, I kind of thought, Good. if it's big enough for me to see, it must be, it must be weed. That was going to be a weed. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else on me. Good job. So I think I inadvertently took credit for being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everything. Pretty well got everything. Make sure they know that. I'm gonna call Sarge right now. Uh, I'm gonna go 1062. Keep looking under there. Yeah, reach up, reach up under there, deep, man. I'm still, I'm still on, by the way. Yeah, me too. Are you still on? Yeah. Okay. That's that's definitely the bag. Because when he opened it, I saw green, and I was like, I kind of thought, Good. if it's big enough for me to see, it must be, it must be weed. That was gonna be a weed. Sir. Yeah. Nothing so else on there. Good job. So I think I really took credit for. Recovery and everything, yeah, yeah. but yeah. I've been off because I wasn't obviously hiding. So, probably get Sergeant Paul. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're good. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Had me all nervous. You want to call them, make sure they know that. It has been alleged that during that cut. Officers planted drugs inside the car after failing to recover some as they had hoped. The Baltimore Police Department is investigating the video and instructing officers to ensure their body cameras remain activated at all times. Two of the officers involved were placed on administrative duty, while one was suspended. Collins, who acknowledges being a recreational marijuana smoker, expressed surprise upon learning that bags of weed and heroin were discovered. Subsequently, she was charged with felony distribution of narcotics. The identities of the officers involved remain confidential. If you think this was the height of police trying to corrupt suspects, then probably you aren't aware of this next case. This is a deputy from the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. On March 16, 2020, officers from the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office noticed a suspect who matched the description of a man observed selling drugs and who attempted to resist when the officers approached. Watch what an officer does while they arrest the drug dealer. Yeah, 
the drug seller reportedly bit an officer while resisting arrest. However, one of the deputies was handling a small bag on the ground near the man, while Samaritans filming the arrest reported they witnessed the officer placing it there himself. The handcuffed suspect also asserts that the bag does not belong to him. The suspect was not charged with any drug-related crimes. Instead, he faced charges of battery on an officer and resisting arrest with force or violence. Additionally, he later apologized for biting an officer during his arrest. The Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office addressed this issue, stating that the officer did not plant it himself. Instead, it was recovered from the suspect. The identity of the cop remains unknown. If you think this was the maximum a cop can attempt to corrupt suspects, then probably you haven't heard of this next case. Let me go check here. Hold on. This is Officer Richard Pinheiro from the Baltimore Police Department. On January 24, 2017, Officer Pinheiro, along with several other officers, was searching the property of a man accused of possessing drugs. Officer Pinheiro discovered a stash of drugs from the crime scene near some rubbish. However, things are not as simple as they seem. Watch what Officer Pinheiro did before finding out about this stash of drugs. Let me go check here. Hold on. Hold up. Not yet. Pinheiro is observed holding a soup can with a clear plastic bag stuffed into it. He subsequently places the can among the rubbish before guiding the other officers out of the narrow access alley. Once on the sidewalk, Pinheiro activates his body camera, unaware that the camera has also recorded his prior actions. Following a brief search, he retrieves the soup can and removes the plastic bag, revealing white capsules inside. The operation led to the arrest of the suspect, who spent months in jail before being released after the discovery of this footage. He remained detained as he couldn't post $50,000 bail. The officer involved has been suspended, and two of his colleagues are on administrative duty. If you think Officer Pinheiro was the last cop who attempted to corrupt the suspect, then probably you haven't seen this next case. Yeah, come on out. Come on out. Oh, no, 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 don't grab me, don't grab me, don't grab me. Well, we're telling you, giving you a lawful order. Saying, if you don't why? get out, you're about That's to get okay. ripped out of the car. This is Officer Robert Barano from the Somerville Police Department. On August 20th, 2020, Officer Barano initiated a traffic stop as a result of a narcotic surveillance operation near the 900 block of North Palmetto Street in Somerville. Watch how Officer Barano reacts after the driver refuses to exit his vehicle. Uh -uh. You just uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I know what you picked up. I know what you picked up over there, okay? What I picked up? Yeah. yeah. Well, Come on. Get out of the car. What, what, oh, no, I ain't getting out the car till y'all tell me what's going on. We're now. about to tell you what's going on. Come on no, out. No, bro. Yeah. What, what, what's going on? I, let me record car. this. Okay. Y'all got y'all. Whoa, whoa, what y'all got y'all yeah, camera on? We're recording on? right now, so come on out. What's going on? We got the camera car. On. Yeah, come I'm on out. Tell you, all right? Come on out. Oh, no, no, no. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Well, we're telling you, giving you a lawful order. If you don't get out, you're about to get ripped out of the car. Well, go ahead. So don't. I got a back problem. Don't rip me out. I'm not trying to do that, so come on out. Come on out. We'll explain it to you. We're going to tell you, dude. Come on. Step out of the car. If, let me go. No, I'm not letting you go. Bro, let uh, me go, This is your last bro. chance, man. No. You're... Get I'll... the f*** out. Get 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 out.
So, gave the nose thing. Hey, can I call? At the house? Yeah, we need to go there now. Yep. Hey, if we need to do it, we need to. 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 See if he's up on one. It's not there. They lost sight of the box, and this car left. We stopped it. He didn't want to get out. We had to extract him. It's not there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we got uh, them Booker's. Naz. Naz. It's on the porch still. Hey. So this, uh, blackmail is a hand on the package. He's been pacing around. He's been pacing around? Okay, yeah. but um, it has to... Um, Somebody's got to grab it and bring uh, it in. Yeah, ask, ask Jamie uh, if that's good enough for us to go in. And, uh, well, somebody has to grab it. Somebody has to take possession of it. Let me call... Um, Dude, there, he was getting all locked yeah. up, so... Just uh, deal with him. We'll probably just get. I mean, again, we have. Well, we might. Right. So just um, make sure he's okay when EMS is here. I'm okay. We thought there was a package in there. Who the driver? Or you guys? Say again. Who thought the package was in there? We did. It was okay. supposed to be a control delivery. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. If, uh, if we can get that front close to him. Then, uh, yes. close. Yeah. I'm gonna drive up because I wanna walk. Down. Copy. Did anybody run that mail by chance? Timmy Miles. Timmy Miles? Yeah. Should be a Timmy Miles. Copy, thank you. You're welcome, sir. 1646. The driver was assaulted by Officer Barano and subsequently arrested by the Somerville police and was taken to one of the police cruisers. The officers then proceeded to search his vehicle. Observe how the search unfolds. I got a bag like this. Yeah. What you did admit to searching? Huh? Oh. I didn't admit to using marijuana. No, I did. Yeah. Is she saying this might be in there still? No. Alright. Can you ask for a... My radio is in there. Yeah, yeah, I got you.
Yeah. I mean, I heard you explaining it. What do you say? We don't know who could have had the box. Is that urine? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probation? So that you on probation? Yeah. Actually, there's a charge for that too. I'll get a bag to secure that. That's a ledger. Um, I don't know, MC. Okay. Uh, I see a it's a see it's some numbers that are there. Yeah, I mean he has a couple names on this one. The search and arrest may potentially violate the rights granted by the Fourth Amendment regarding unreasonable searches and seizures. Officer Barano abused his authority, violating the individual's rights. Consequently, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, S. Led, arrested Officer Robert Barano, who was charged with third-degree assault and battery. It's saddening to see cops corrupting suspects while they were tasked to uphold justice. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Goodbye.